Good day, guys. Today we're going to be going through how you can install the Minecraft Java Edition Portmaster port on your R36S handheld. Specifically, vanilla version 1.7.10. We will be using the free Minecraft trial version to get this working today, but if you enjoy the game, please consider purchasing the full version. If you already own the full version, the steps would be exactly the same, only you wouldn't use the trial launcher. Since we do need to download a few Portmaster runtimes on the device itself, you will need to have an active internet connection on your R36S. You could use USB tethering from your phone or a USB ethernet adapter, but we'll just be using our trusty cheap USB wireless adapter. Nothing special here. We'll also be doing everything over on our Windows 11 PC, but the steps should be the same for both macOS and Linux, as long as you have Minecraft Java Edition installed either the full version or just the trial. We'll also be using a fresh install of the latest version of ArcOS for our R36S, but this also works on ArcOS for clones and the new DarkOS. Let's get into it. We're over on our Windows 11 PC now, and to get started we do have to download a few things. We've just opened up Google Chrome and gone to the Portmaster website, which I will link down in the description below. From here we want to click on Games at the very top. In the search bar at the top we want to click it and type in Minecraft, and then we want to click on Minecraft Java Edition. From here we want to scroll down a little bit and click download. It mentions currently only versions 1.7.1 and 1.12 either with or without Forge are supported. To keep things easy we'll just be focusing on version 1.7.10 today. With that downloaded we also need Minecraft Java Edition installed on our PC. We'll just be using the official free Minecraft trial today but the steps would be exactly the same for the full version. If you do want to use the Minecraft trial version I will put a link directly down in the description below. So on this page we just want to scroll down and you want to make sure you download the Minecraft Java Edition, not the Bedrock Edition. Since we are on Windows, we downloaded the Windows version, but again the steps should be pretty much the same for Mac OS and Linux. Once everything's finished downloading, we can close off Chrome and open up our Downloads folder. Inside we should have our Minecraft Portmaster files and optionally the PC Minecraft installer itself. We'll start by extracting the Minecraft files, just right click on it, and you can just go down and click Extract All. However, if you have 7-zip installed, click Show More Options, 7-zip, and Extract 2. Either method will work. Next, we want to open up the official Minecraft launcher. If you are using the trial version, just double click on the installer that you downloaded earlier, and follow the on-screen prompts. If you did end up downloading and installing the demo, but when you actually tried to open it, it says you need to have it purchased. What worked for me was opening up the Xbox launcher, which was installed with the Minecraft demo. Searching for the Minecraft launcher, not Minecraft for Windows or any other version, specifically the launcher, and clicking buy on it. It is completely free and you don't need to enter any payment details. Once you've clicked buy, the official launcher should start working. So once inside the launcher, at the very top we want to click on installations. We want to go down and click on new installation. You can give it a name but it doesn't really matter. I'll just call it V1.7.10. Next go down and click on version. We want to type in 1.7.10. That should filter it and we just want the plain release 1.7.10, the very top one, not any of these snapshots. Leave game directory and resolution as default and just click install. You might get a pop-up saying that it's an older version that doesn't support the latest player safety features. Just click play. It should automatically download all the files that you need. If you did want to use version 1.12, the steps would be exactly the same. You'd click new installation, give it a name again, probably just call it v1.12 under version, filter it to 1.12. This is wrong. You do want to download and install version 1.12.2, not version 1.12. Leave everything else as default and just click install. Once again, you'll get a pop-up, just click play. At the bottom, you should get a downloading progress bar. It is important you wait for it to finish downloading, don't skip ahead. So once they've both fully finished downloading, the install notes on the Portmaster website mention you should play both of them at least once, just so they can finish downloading all the files. In my tests, I've noticed you don't have to do that, but if you are having issues launching it on the R36S itself, just go back and click play on both of them. Next, we just want to open the Minecraft install directory. Thankfully, they make it easy. Next to the play button is a little folder icon. You can just click that. It should take you directly to the Minecraft directory. Now to make it easier, we do want to go back one folder. So at the very top, click on roaming. That should take us back to this folder. We want to right click on .minecraft and click copy. We do want the entire directory. Next, we want to go back to our downloads folder where we downloaded and extracted the Minecraft portmaster files. Open up the portmaster folder open up the Minecraft Java folder inside, and we want to paste our .minecraft folder in here. So just press Ctrl V. If you do get an error saying that the file is open in another program, just close off Minecraft Launcher. And click try again. So at the very end, it's going to ask if you want to replace any existing files. It is very important you click skip. You do not want to overwrite any files. 
Once everything's finished copying, you want to insert your ArcOS SD card from your R36S into your computer. This does also work for ArcOS for clones and DarkOS. With our SD card inserted, we want to go back to the main Minecraft Portmaster files. So this one here, you should have the script and the Minecraft Java folder. We want to copy both of them, highlight them both, press Ctrl C. Next, we want to open the EasyROMS partition on our R36S's SD card, go all the way down to ports, and paste both files in here. Just press Ctrl V. There are almost 8,000 files, so it may take a few minutes to copy. Just be patient. Once everything's finished copying, that's pretty much it for the PC side of things. We'll safely eject our SD card and move back over to our R36S to finish off the installation. We're back on our R36S now, but before we continue, we will need to connect our device to the internet. You could tether it to your phone or use a USB Ethernet adapter, but today we'll just be using my trusty cheap USB wireless adapter. Just plug it into the OTG port. Next, we want to go down to the options menu. If you're using DarkOS, the options menu is tucked away inside the start menu. So in this menu here, go down to the very bottom and go to Wi-Fi. It is a fresh install, so we'll connect to a new connection and it's connected. Next, we need to install Portmaster. So again, back into options, tools, and Portmaster. If you already have it installed, you can obviously skip this step. So once you're finally in Portmaster, we wanna go down to options, go down a little bit and open runtime manager. And in here, we wanna install three things. Go all the way down to J for Java. We wanna install Java JDK 8, just press A on it. It shouldn't take too long to download and install. Once it finishes, press A. Next, we want to download and install Java JRE17, not JDK17. So once again, highlight JRE17 and press A. Once it finishes, press A again. And finally, we want to go all the way down to Western Pack and download that. So again, highlight Western Pack and press A. Once that's finished, press A again. We'll press B to go back, press B again, and go down to Exit. That's pretty much it. Minecraft should now be installed and fully playable. You no longer need internet access on your device once it's installed. So I've just unplugged mine to stop the annoying speaker interference. To actually launch Minecraft, go down to ports and run Minecraft Launcher. It should hopefully take you to the Minecraft home screen. If instead you have a bright blue background saying install missing dependencies, then it means you have missed installing one of the runtimes. Go back into Portmaster and install the three runtimes we mentioned earlier. Now, interestingly, version 1.12 hasn't shown up. The reason version 1.12 didn't show up is because you do need to use version 1.12.2. With the correct version downloaded and copied over, it does show up and work. We'll just select version 1.7.10. The Mojang logo will be slightly cropped off, don't worry. It should be fine on the next screen. And there we go. I will need to hold the R36 in my hand since we do need to use R2. So to move the cursor around, you use your right joystick and R2 acts as a click. So before we actually run it, we do have to change the settings. So go down to options, go to video settings. We want to turn fancy graphics off. We might change the render distance down to six. Disable smooth lighting. You shouldn't need to, but we'll also reduce the max frame rate. We've just set it to 60, although that probably won't make much of a difference. We also want to turn clouds off and particles off. If you don't lower the settings, it does lag and then eventually crash. So it is very important you do change these settings. Once you're finished, go down to done, done again, and we'll go single player. There is already a world, so we'll just use that one, but you could obviously create your own. It does seem to take around one minute to create a new world. Go play. After around 20 seconds, you should finally be in the level. It's a bit laggy at the start, so just be patient. You can see here it has almost fully frozen, and there we go. Still a bit laggy. It does come good, I promise. There we go. It obviously doesn't run perfectly, but it is definitely playable. The controller mapping is pretty straightforward as well. The left joystick moves you around, the right joystick looks around, A jumps, Y opens your inventory, R2 punches, and L2 should place. L1 and R1 navigate through your inventory. There's not really much else to say, it is Minecraft. When loading new areas, there are some lag spikes, but as mentioned, it does calm down once it's fully loaded. Pressing start does bring up the main menu where you can save and quit. As mentioned earlier, although the free trial version files do work, if you do enjoy the game, do consider purchasing the full version. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.